Hello, in this video, we're going to define what it means for a relation to be reflexive, and we're going to do some examples of determining if relations are reflexive. A relation R on a set A is reflexive if A comma A is an R for all little a and capital A. So for every single element in A, the ordered pair A comma A is an R. In other words, a is related to A for all little a and big A. So it's reflexive if every element in little a is related to itself. Let's do some examples so you can understand this definition a little bit better. So let's start with a simple example here. I'm going to let A be equal to the set containing the numbers one, two, and three. And then we're going to let R be a relation on A. Recall that a relation on A is just a subset of A cross A. So one such subset of A cross A would be the set containing the elements, let's say 1, 1 and 2, 1. So this is a relation on A because it's a subset of A cross A. And we're going to see if it's reflexive. So it's reflexive if for all little a and capital A, we have a related to a. So in this case, one is here, is an a, and one one is an r, so one is related to one. But notice, notice for example, two is an a, that's an element in a, but, but the element two comma two is not an r. So that means that two is not related to two. So R is not reflexive. R is not a reflexive relation, a reflexive flexive, can't spell, relation. All right, let's do another example. So if, if 2, 2 was in there and 3, 3 was in there, then it would, be, uh, it would be reflexive. For example, let's say we have the set A equals containing, uh, let's see, um, let's just do 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we're gonna let R here be the set containing 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, and 1, 3. In this case, R would be a reflexive relation on A because for every element in A, it contains, um, you know, every element is related to itself. For example, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4 are all in R. So R here is reflexive. because every element is related to itself, right? One, one is an R means that one is related to one, et cetera. So here it failed because it, the set did not contain two, two. Let's do one more example. Let's let, um, how about, let's let A be equal to a non-empty set. So this is just a set. Of elements. So you can just say A is just some set, non empty. It's got some stuff in it. We can maybe assume it's numbers if you like. And we're going to let R be the set of all ordered pairs, A comma A, such that A is an A. And then this is clearly reflexive, right? Because every single element in R as um, you know, looks like one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. They're all just AA. So in this case, R is reflexive. So a relation is reflexive if every element uh, of A is related to itself. So that's the key. In our first example, uh, that was not the case because, um, for example, two, two was not. Uh, in, in R. Also, also 3, 3, right? 3 is an A and 3, 3 
is not an R. So every element has to be related to itself. Uh, reflexive relations are important because it's one of the conditions for a relation to be what's called an equivalence relation. A relation is called an equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Anyways, hopefully this has been a little bit of help with reflexive relations. Good luck.